Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. This is Luke Chu. Dave Wrestler. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. Shut up and draw a robot. So I did a I did a, a museum show, kind of a retrospective at the Lancaster Museum of Art and History in Lancaster, California in 2018. And it was really fun. And the gist of the show was to kind of demystify the process of art because a lot of times people, you look at some finished product, like, like a toy, like behind you, you know, uh, behind Chad, like you got all those great, you know, um, figures and it's almost yeah. looks like, well, how do you even get there? You know, but with me, it's like, I've, I've done a lot of that stuff when I made toys. And sometimes it starts off as simple as like, I'll, I'll sketch something on a post-it. You know what I mean? I'll sketch something on a post-it. And sometimes if I, if I like nail, like, I'm like, yeah, that looks great. I will actually take that post-it. I'll put it on the scanner and I'll blow it up like 400%. So I have a piece of art. And then I'll refine that piece and I'll just do it. Sometimes I'll print it and I'll put it on a light table and I'll resketch it. Sometimes I'll just pull it into Photoshop and maybe do a little bit of work. But then eventually I'll come up with that, with that piece that I'll use. Then I'll, I'll start putting clay on to an armature and start matching up with that drawing and you refine that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're now you're, you're, you're taking the clay, you're molding it into a resin master. And then the resin master now is getting shipped off to a factory. And in nine months, you're going to have a toy. Um, and to me, it, it was always that note to vinyl. vinyl. Was that? From close to note to vinyl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, and so my, my whole thing is it doesn't matter it, it, if you don't have tools. Um, and one of the things I also did there is they had these after school programs where a lot of the artists would like, you know, um, do something and teach kids how to do something art wise after school. So my whole thing was, since I was in animation, I thought, well, what, let me do an animation thing, but I wanted to do it as if like, just whatever you have. In other words, I found a free app that someone could just put on any phone or any iPad, which most kids have access to a phone or something like that. Yeah. So we, we, I found a free animation app and then we, we took some wire and I, you know, some paper, drew a face on a character, and we were animating it on the table. And it was just thumbtacks. And it was, you know, so the whole idea was, you don't need fancy tools to get everything going. So the shut up and draw robot came out of the idea of don't get caught up in your head about oh, I don't have tools, I don't have experience, like you can talk yourself out of anything. <laughs> if you give yourself enough time to shut up and draw, I even do it for me because I'm it, I even get caught up in two in my head about stuff. And the thing is, no, just, just keep drawing it, you know, just draw just something. It. If that doesn't turn it, flip the page and do another one. And if keep that going. doesn't, just keep going. Yeah. Every day, just keep, yeah. I figured when I, when after watching a few of your clips and I'm like, man, I get his point and it's just, it's just right to it. And I do that for work now, you know, in my everyday life. I'm like, just shut up and go, you know, just do, do what I <laughs> right. need to do to get through this and just keep going every day, you know, and, and that's, that's a, that's a hard thing to do. You know, like you say, you talk yourself out of everything. It's so easy to do that. So, oh yeah. And, and, and I never went to art school. I never went to art school and uh, let's go even further. I never even finished high school. Okay. So let's, Let's be real here. Look, I never. Yeah, look, you're in Nickelodeon Studios right now. I, I, mean, I right. And I gotta say, it was very hard because I had to teach myself a lot of stuff that people half my age already learned in school and stuff like that. So it was hard to learn it. But it's like you said, you can't get caught up. You just have to keep grinding out and figure out how to do it. You know. Um, what makes you do it every day? I mean. That drive is 110%. I, I try to, 
110 percent is tough every day so <laughs> is. anything to say for an artist out there to to just shut up and draw right yeah i say i say that it give here's the balance here, here's the balance because even here when we're making a show you can't do 100 percent, 10 percent every day because you have to think of it as a marathon not a sprint in other words so you try to balance it out with the, you always like give your best effort but sometimes you gotta like you know you have to give yourself a break and just in the same way that you have to like spend some time working and then spend some time absorbing go to the museum look at a cool art book uh go to a comic book shop and check out artists that that really make your mind percolate take a day to do just like look at stuff you know um i always talk to my designers hear about retaining a visual glossary um which i don't know if there's any way to really do that except for when you're out and about in the world pay attention to just what things look like what regular things look like you know because you know if you think of a street lamp everyone just thought of a street lamp they thought of a completely different one than everyone else did but then you get down well well what secures it to the cement? It's like, oh, what, what shape is that base? Are there bolts sticking out? Is there a button across the street? Is there a wire on it? Are there stickers all over it? What kind of a neighborhood is it in? All those little things are, you know, what what you, you look at, especially when you look at some amazing graphic novels and stuff where they got all those details that make something look so real. So I think excitement is the thing that can keep you going, like you said, the 110% every day, just to do things to keep yourself excited. And here's the other important thing, and it took me a long time to learn this, is when something's not working out, when something's not 100% the way you want it to be, don't beat yourself up. If some days you're just not feeling it, man, and you sit down in your in your studio and you're like, Ugh, or you sit down at your table or whatever you do, yeah sometimes it's not happening and you just got to move on and and not beat yourself up about not being in the mood that day sometimes it happens that next day is coming tomorrow so yeah okay um chad you have anything you want to say as well uh no i think you've covered it for the most part but yeah we're just kind of seeing starting to gear up and we decided to do a shut up and show <laughs> <laughs> so yes that's, we're that's how that's going and we're just going to keep with it Bye.